Hi there, it's James Art here. So I've got a quick tip for you on how to use a multiband compressor to tighten up a kick drum. If that's something you're interested in, stick around, I'll show you what I do. As always, if you like the video, hit the like. If you want to subscribe to more videos and hit subscribe and notification bell, and I'll let you know of upcoming videos. Also, if you want some free stuff, sign up to the mailing list below and I'll send you some things you can use in your mixes. So I'm going to get the kick drum from this. to this. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to use C6, the multiband compressor by Waves to do this. Now you can use any multiband you have. There are so many different ones out there and every DAW has one. So you don't have to use a Waves one. It's just one I particularly like. Now the idea of this is I'm essentially splitting it up into three bands, low, mid and high. And I'm going to be processing them ever so slightly differently with the intention to essentially shape the sound to control the sound before it goes into further processing i.e eq compression whatever else you want to do so what i've done is i've got the three bands here there's there's actually five on this but three of them are bypassed so i'm only using three at the moment the first one is the low end so i'm dialing it into where that sub where the the low end thud of the kick is in this case it's about 60 hertz and it will generally be around there just depending on the bass drum and if i just take that gain off there right first i'm going to be controlling it so i've got the range doing quite a lot and the threshold it's probably just peeking out at a few db let's have a look at what it's doing yeah in fact i'll give it just a little bit more and then i'm gonna bring up the makeup gain so we're not actually losing that low end i want to control it i want to compress it but i want to make sure it's still nice and present and fat Okay, next up is the mid-range. Now, this is essentially what I would usually be doing in EQ moves, but as I said, by doing it with the multiband compression first, I'm essentially cleaning it up before it gets to EQ. So the mid-range of the kick drum, nine times out of 10, you want to take some of that out anyway. That's where your boxiness is going to be. That's where your basketball sound is going to be. So I'll show you what I'm doing now. I'm going to be doing quite a lot. Yep, so there's a whole heap coming out of there. Let's just bypass that. Okay, and then the high end over here is essentially just the click, just just the, the attack. And I am just want to control that just a little bit. I want to have the attack in there because that's where you're really going to hear it cutting through, but I don't want it to get too out of hand. Okay, so just doing a very minor amount there, but all together, they add up to quite a tasty sum. See, as you can hear, it's just that much tighter overall. And now we've got a, a tighter sound. When I send that into the processing, it's already more controlled. It's already in a better state. So it's not quite the same as just EQing it because as you noticed, I was compressing the low end that much more because low end needs that much more compression or that much more control. Also, if you haven't checked it out already, I've done a series on compression. So go and check out some of those videos and it'll just take you through the fundamentals on compression if you haven't done it already or if you're not too sure. So now I'm gonna put that into an EQ. In this case, I'm using the API 550A. I'm actually using the UAD version because it's just a fantastic emulation, but there are lots of other ones out there which are really good as well. The Waves is really cool. The Plugin Alliance one is particularly special too. But of course, you can use any EQ you like. I just happen to like this on kick drum because it just does a wonderful thing. Now, in terms of the frequencies, I'm doing the same sort of thing that I was doing on the C6. So I'm boosting some low end around 50. I'm taking the mid range out. This is around 400 Hertz. And I'm chucking some high end in there from about 7K upwards as a shelf on that. So let's have a little listen to the before and after.
And now with the whole drum kit, just so you get a bit more context. And there we go. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of an idea of how useful a multiband compressor can be on a kick drum. Just to summarize, the idea is to control the sound before it gets to other processing. You're compressing more of the low end because the lower frequencies have longer waves. They need more control to keep them in check. So once you've got a, a nicely shaped sound, you can then send that into other processing, being EQ, compression, whatever you're using, and it's just going to respond that much better. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks very much for coming. I had a lovely time. Bye for now.